In this example, we will be finding the square root of 24. In order to do this, we will first review an important math concept, which is the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. So if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, that will be equal to those numbers in individual square roots multiplied. We can apply this to the square root of 24 by looking at the factors of 24. So I'm going to choose 4 and 6 as my factors of 24 because 4 is a perfect square. And this will help us in the future with simplifying. We can then write the square root of 24 as a square root of 4 times 6. And then using our math rule, we can then rewrite this as a square root of 4 times the square root of 6. The square root of 4 will be 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, the square root of 24 will equal 2 times the square root of 6. Now we can also estimate the square root of 24 to the nearest whole number in order to give us a better idea of what this value will look like. In order to do this, we want to look at perfect squares near 24. So I will choose 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. Because 24 lies between 16 and 25, the square root of 16 can be written as less than the square root of 24, which will be less than the square root of 25. Because 4 squared is 16, our square root of 16 will be 4. And because 5 squared is 25, our square root of 25 will be 5. Therefore, the square root of 24 lies between 4 and 5. In order to find the value that the square root of 24 is closest to, we will look at the difference between 24 and our perfect squares by subtracting them. So we will do 24 minus 16 to give us 8, and then 25 minus 24 to give us 1. Because 25 is a lot closer to 24, the square root of 24 will be closer to 5. Therefore, we can estimate the square root of 24 as approximately 5.